pumped up. All right. All right, everybody. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Yeah, it, you guys can't hear anymore, but I still can. I'm just gonna turn that down. All right, everybody, get your notebooks out. You still remember where they are. Remember, you got all your stuff together and whatnot. Get your pens, get your pencils, whatever you're using. <clears throat> and we're going to rock and we're going to roll. And it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. But now it's been a while since we've done this and the blood moon is soon. So we're going to make this an hour. All right, just for an hour. That's all, all we really need. And uh, I'm just going to keep this open. So we'll be up and running for about an hour. Let me turn this back on. Pump up music, let's go. All right, let's continue to learn some Japanese. All right, I forgot where we left off last. Oh, hey, don't leave town just yet. Take a look around and speak to me when you're ready. Okay, well. Let's see what's in here. Can we? Yes, we can. Awesome. Hello, mister. Welcome. Ever since dangerous hiragana warriors started roaming the land, I have set up this shop in the village selling weapons and armor for protection. If you see anything you like, please let me know. I thought you said you had stuff. Be sure to equip any weapons and armor you buy, or they'll be useless. Go into the menu with the escape key and select equip. So, equip Claire. Oh, she only has leather gloves for her, for a weapon. That's always fun. Yeah, put you get right there. Let's get out of this. Let's see. What's up here? Ah, oh, the restaurant. This is really loud. Is it loud for you guys too? I don't know. We'll be alright. Can we eat with you? I just love food. I adore it. I'm waiting for Miss Misaki to teach me about Japanese cuisine. Some people in this world will tell you that you can't do something or other. To those people, all you need to say is, I can, and I will. Your words are only as good as your actions. Do your best and succeed what others say you will fail. This is... It is with this success that you will attain happiness. Mm. <clears throat> I love refreshing drinks. Miss Misaki said she will teach me about the delicious Japanese beverages. <laughs> Hello, I speak good English, yes? You would never guess that I was born in a non-English speaking country, yes? I practice my English every day, sometimes I practice twice. I'm just gonna assume that he's... It said that in a very Russian tone. Hey, don't leave town yet. I didn't realize I was leaving town if I go that way. Okay. Let's see, nothing else down there. There's a snowman. We'll go check him out. Go to the inn. Hello, dear. It is ten. I'm not sure what that symbol means, but for one night, would you like to say no? Wait, there was a, a guy here. We're going to go investigate and see who this guy is. Hey, I know we're in your room. Many moons have passed since these old bones stood on dry land. Am I a sailor, you ask? Nah, nay. I am just a humble merchant from the swamp bar. Maybe I am a pirate. Maybe I be a pirate. Maybe I do be a pirate. Which reminds me, we need to go and place... Oh, I went back into the inn. Arr. Hello again. What would you like to do? Let's revise the lesson. First... Hang on, first, I'm just... Wow, it's all at 20%. 
I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but it's very loud in my ear. So I'm just gonna turn that down. All right, anyway. Hello again. What would you like to do? Let's revise a lesson. What kind of lesson would you like to revive? Revise. Uh, let's do the hiragana lessons. You want vowels? Yeah, let's do vowels real quick. The five characters right now. Short vowels. Let's go through them one by one. This is ah. It's a short vowel. And we're gonna write it. That's how you write it. Okay. I've already gotten written down here. In my book, you guys should be having your notebooks out as well. I say this as if though, I'm assuming you guys have notebooks, but you want to join along, it's fine. It's fine. If you just want to watch me stumble around learning Japanese, and it's fine too. One more time. Stroke over, down, around, and boom. Give her a tail. Some tips, horizontal line is slightly curved. Okay. We're gonna continue. This is E. Let's pronounce it as E. 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 Boom, boom. One and done. Two and done, actually. It's two and done. One more time. Ready? Two and done. Little check mark and a tail. There we go. One and done. Two and done. Remember, they're always slightly curved. It's always gotta be artistic. Not autistic, artistic. It's a difference, you know. Mm. Next one is U. It looks like U, but it's pronounced as U. Mm. Let's practice writing it. A nice little cap and then curve it around. Give it a cap, curve it around. Mm. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, okay. Stop doing that. Eh. eh. Not A. Eh. Not like the Canadian A. Eh. It's A. Eh. eh. Also remember, stay hydrated. <clears throat> a short vowel. Practice it. Give it a cap and then a Z with a fancy tail. Or a seven with a fancy tail, however you want to say it. It's got a cap on it. It's a furry seven, I guess, is what you could say. We'll just say it's a fancy Z. <clears throat> Next one is O, which is a bit more difficult than the other ones, but give it a nice old T with a curved shadow, and then give it a nice little hocha right, right the side. Nice little T and nice little curve. Make it in just three strokes, it says. So you gotta go whap, whap, whap. Vertical line is to the left of the character, not the center. Ah, yes. Curve around and around. All right, so that's all the vowels. We'll be using our notes to figure out and remember which ones are which. All right, real quick. Remember to use hashtag stream underscore 42. Use the hashtag stream underscore 42. I can just click and she... Look at this. Look at, look at how fast she goes to there. I really don't... I don't need to use my arrows. I just need... Alright. Hello again. Would you like to do... New lessons. Let's go. Head north of town to view the world map. We want to visit Castor Marsh. Leon and I are already... <clears throat> Leon and I are ready this time. We won't let you down. Let's do it! Forget what my voices were for the other ones. Oh. Uh, what, what voice did I give this guy? I can't remember. We'll make new ones. New ones are fun. <clears throat> so, this is Castor Marsh. I've lived in Snowly Village my whole life. But I've never even once came near this place. Why would you need to? This place is super boring. Maybe it was boring in the past, but now it's full of dangerous Hiragana warriors. It's best that we stay alert. You read my mind, Claire. We'll clear out of Hiragana warriors as soon as we go. By the way, 
If you're in a hurry, you can dash by holding the shift key while moving. Try it out! If we're low on HP or somebody's been knocked in conscience, return to the town and stay at the inn. It will restore us back to full health. Let's try this. Whoa! Look at us go! Oh, right at the entrance. Ooh. Oh, these are the ka. These are the ka's. Alright, gang, if you remember what your ka's are, get your notes out, because we're about to get in it. Alright, let's see. Which one are we looking at? Ah, uh, no. This one's a ga. This one's a ga. First one is a ga. I'm gonna fight. Claire. Answer. It's gonna be... Where is it? Ga. Ga. This one. Isaki. Answer. Ga. This one. Eric. Answer. We'll just go all out. Oh, oh, ga. This one, right? Yeah. yeah. Answer. Ga. This one. Miss. <laughs> look. I, I just noticed this. They look like they're summoning something. One more. Hey, we got it. All right. So this next one is goo. We do goo. G. Remember that? G. Not go. Goo. Goo. Got it. We did it. Ba -ba 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 -da. Ooh, reflect, learn, and blesses when learn. Awesome. Leveled up. We gain 82. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, a chest. Obtained buckler. A small shield that can be strapped to the arm, allowing full use of weapons as normal. Let's see. Ooh, HP is looking low. Item. Resource some HP. A sweet and fizzy drink, especially popular with children. Pop the marble to open it. Oh, I've had those. Those are pretty good. go. Yeah, that's all he needs it. Yeah, those are pretty good. If you've never had one, I'd recommend it. Here we go. Oh, which one was this one? Key. This one's key. According to my notes, it is key. Answer. K-I. Key. That's right. See, I have it written differently. I have it written di differently in my notes because of uh, how they recommended the to draw it. All right, we're gonna keep on going. We'll go this way just because I'm curious. Oh, another chest. Ah. All right, here we are. This is the same thing, isn't it? Yep, Ga and Goo. Ga and Goo. Get over the Ga. What did I say this one? Goo. Goo. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, it was a 40 something health. I was concerned that was gonna happen. And he's almost. He's almost up, so we're gonna go to item. And noon. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot. And here we are again. Oh, it's okay. So this one's just ga. Cancer ga. No, 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 no. Looks like the bridge is out. Aww. No sweat. I bet with some solid logs I could build a bridge to help us cross. Really? Well, if you know how, I'll give you a hand. It's sorted then. Let's hunt around for some strong logs. Three good logs should be enough. But where to look? All the way over there. Back to the beginning. Ah. Ooh, okay, now we're getting into some interesting waters here. Key and Gi. Kigi. I don't even know if I said something inappropriate or not, but we're gonna go with it. Alright, so first and foremost, we'll go with Gi. So Gi, this one. Answer G, this one. Answer G, this one. Answer G, that one. Ouch. Poor Eric, he's always getting hit. Why are you picking on Eric for? Okay, apparently Eric has the set, the last. Answer, what did I say, key? Yes. Okay, key. Answer key. You'd think that they go in order of how they are, but I guess not. Oh, oh. I was so glad they didn't hit Eric with that one, because I would have been fairly upset. Because I'd have to use another potion there. Get him up. I'm gonna go for these chests. Ooh, yes, we needed that. Right. Everybody's good. Oh. Ah. Now these are just the vowels. So the first one. Oh no, it's not just, is it? No, they're not the vowels. Okay, it's Ko and Ku. So we got this one. The first one is gonna be Ku. Oh, I should have him. Okay, so if he's going to be the next, if he's going to be the last one, then he needs to do... Oh, no. No, I messed up. No, the second one was Q. So, yeah, he's supposed to be Q. This one. Oh, shoot. Okay. Answer. This one is supposed to be Ko. On the first one. Eric will be Ku on this one, and Leon will be Ko on this one. If I'm right and they keep consistent with it, then Eric's going to be last. Yep, I was right. Fight 
cancer. And then this one is cool. There we go. <clears throat> nice. I try to do about two lessons at a time. This is a good log. Let's take it with us. Awesome. Oh, come on. Alright, so now we're in Ka and Ki. Or Ke. Cotton K. Answer is going to be Ka. And you would be K. And this one. And this one would be Ka. <coughs> nice! Alright. If I knew that was going to happen, then I wouldn't have. Dang, 62 damage. And this one was, what did it say, K? Yeah. No, 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 no. There we go. Kick the ball. Kick the ball. Alright, let's... That's all three of them. Let's get out of here. Oh, shoot. Ah! Alright, now we got Ga and Goo. So this one is going to be Ga. This one's going to be Ga. You are going to have Goo. And Ga. You know, with them having so much damage now, I might as well... Yep. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, with them having so much damage, I might as well have them... Rotate at a time. Yeah, we'll just... <clears throat> Ooh, they're almost leveled up. Ah. And so now we got go, go and ga. That's what it looks like. We got go, go. You have ga. Oh! Did I not give her the right answer? What answer did I give her? Am I learning any Japanese? Oh yeah, you betcha. Did I not answer? I gave her that answer. It was goo. Did I not... Or not goose, go. Go. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm just fix that. There we go. <coughs> We're learning all the Japanese today, Jared. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't shall worry about it. Alright, I have enough logs to build the bridge. I didn't realize we needed three logs to build that bridge, but we did it. Onward, you say. Or, likewise, we just kind of go this way. Alright, so now we got Ku and Ga. My answer 
what did I say? Coup? Yeah. A coup. And you got gone. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to him. 85 damage? You're only on level 4? Item. It's got a wood axe, a cloth shirt. Fence post. He's using a fence post. She's using a bamboo sword, and yet Eric is doing more with a. Eric is doing more with a wooden axe than Misaki is with a bamboo sword. What did she say she has? A pot lid. Alright, that's a no quest. Equip Eric with. Oh, sure. I just optimized him. What's down here? Oh, yeah, the chest. Holy Toledo, that's a lot. Ah. Alright, so we get, uh, which one is this one? Key and Gi. <clears throat> so fight answered. This one is Gi. <laughs> this is gonna get to anyway. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I was like, oh crap, I messed it up. I feel like these are very often, but it's okay because we're learning. Let's see, this one is K. Two shots. Got it. Got it. We got it. You can sense a strong foe nearby. Oh dear. Yes. Let's see. We'll save in the second file. What is this place? This never used to be here. I wonder, could this be where the Hirigana warriors are being summoned from? It must be, right? What else could it be here for? Maybe that Japanese magician guy just likes strange lawn art. I sense something powerful nearby. Maybe we should come back some other time. Uh-oh, no time for that. Watch out! Noburo appears. Noburo? Noburo. <laughs> How sweet! You've come for another round of punishment? Noburo. Misaki, what do we do? This guy kicked my butt last time I fought him. Just stay calm. Together we can do this. I'm ready to take him down. You can count on me. <laughs> How courageous. Let's see what you've got. Noburo summoned allies. Everyone, listen very carefully. Do not attack Noburo. Only attack the Hiragana warriors. We are not yet strong enough to defeat Noburo, but if we defeat enough of his summons, we can deplete his energy and live to see another day. Do your best. Alright, so let's see. This one is... Ko and Ga. It's gonna be... Ko. Which is... This one, answer, Ko, and you guys get Ga, this one, answer, G. 
uh, this one. Alright. Nobro summoned a new ally. Oh dear. Took no damage. Oh, it's Ka! Oh, it's Ka because it it, it doesn't have the, the little pot or the uh, quotations next to it. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, it's Ka, not Ga. Okay, we get this one. Ka. And then that one is. Eh. It's a vowel. It's a vowel eh. Answer. Eh. And this one. Answer. Eh. This one. There we go. Nobody or summon a new ally. There we go. Oh, wow. Hit that one one shot. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? We got goo and go. So it's gonna be goo, which is this one do this one and then what did I say go go which is this one go which is this one there we go and one more Norbo fled the battle. Of course he did. We did it! Wow, we got a lot of money. Phew, he's gone. At least for now. That was exhausting. At least we were able to deal with the Hiragata warriors, right? Definitely learned... <clears throat> I forgot the voices. We've definitely learned a lot so far. We'll get him next time. We should head back to town and rest for today. Tomorrow, we'll start learning the next set of Hiragana. Come talk to me in town when you're ready. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. We will save it on this one. Alright. Who are you? Hello, I'm waiting for Misaki to teach me. Oh, everybody wants to be taught Japanese by Misaki. 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 Hello, dear. <clears throat> Hello, dear. It's just... Ten money for one night. Would you like to stay? Yeah. Now everybody is good to go. Alright, let's go see if he has any weapons. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. I'm just a lonely snowman. Please, leave me be. Uh oh, you're really going. You don't go. <laughs> Alright, well. That's. It's one way to do something. No, I see anything, please let me know. Alright. Well, I can't. I can't really. Let you know if I like something because you don't have anything in your inventory, is a problem. Bye. Oh! He does. I just have to select buy to see everything. Iron Knuckles. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's see. Short sword used by samurai as a second blade. A heavy wooden sword used for training. Heavy duty. Yeah, let's do this. One. This 
And then... Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you a nice little fire axe here. And then... Don't need six. Get two extra ones. Alright. Be sure to equip. We'll do that here. Oh, no, don't go back in. Alright. So we'll go to equip. Claire. Iron Knuckles. Hot lid is. Can't optimize. Sumisaki. Like that. Let's see Eric. Put him with his fire axe. And sorry, buddy, but we couldn't get your quarter staff. Alright. <clears throat> we'll do one lesson. We'll do one more lesson. Remember, guys, to use hashtag stream underscore 42. That's the hashtag. I'll go check it out right now. Make sure you use that if you want a nice little shout out. Who are you? My daughter keeps learning new words at school, but she doesn't apply herself long enough to learn the actual meaning. If I could relive my education, I'd make sure I had learned all I possibly could. But don't mind me. I'm just an old man. I'm only 39. The ladies love my distinguished look. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Who are you? So much to do today. I'm still cleaning up the mess from that magician a few weeks ago. If you don't want to help me, then shoo. Hey, kid, come here. Mom says it's super dangerous to leave the village right now. So just don't, okay? But I'm saving all my money to leave the village someday. I've hidden my life savings somewhere super secret. He'll never find it. Oh, kid, I'm pretty sure I've probably already found it. Oh, is that your life savings? <laughs> kid, I feel bad for finding your two money. <laughs> I say my life savings finds it immediately. <laughs> is this a little tent for the dog? It's a little tent for the dog. Alright, we'll do one lesson. Continue with new lessons. Welcome back. Let's carry on with the next lesson. I have something special prepared for today's lesson. Before we study more hiragana, we're going to learn some Japanese vocabulary. Yeah! Here we go. Let's learn some vap. Let's learn some Japanese vocabulary. To give you a break from learning hiragana every lesson, we will mix it up and learn vocabulary lesson now and then. We'll cover 10 new words each lesson. As we go, we will demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. You'll see how to write each word in hiragana based on the hiragana we know so far. I'll show you our first word and demonstrate how these vocabulary lessons work. Hi. Hi. Ah, we all know this one. We all know this one. The first line in blue is how to write it in Japanese word romanji. Romanji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Romanji is very common, and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from Japanese use romanji. Think of words like tsunami, karaoke, sensei, etc. Romanji is super simple and easy to read. As you learn more hiragana and gain understanding of the syllables used in Japanese, you'll be able to write words in romanji as well as, well as hiragana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the Romanji reading until we learn all the relevant hiragana, which brings me to the next line, written in black. This is the hiragana reading of the word. As lessons get more advanced, you will learn more hiragana. These words will become entirely written in hiragana. When there are syllables used that we haven't learned yet, I'll just display the Romanji. So, in our example above, you'll see that as hai. We haven't learned the hiragana for ha yet, but we've learned ai. Or E. I thought it was supposed to be E. Hi. Yes. Hi. Ha. E. Ha. E. Hi. <clears throat> the dashes in between are just to symbolize the gap between each syllable. You don't need to actually write these in Hiragana or Romaji. 
I'm saying Romanji. It's Romaji. Romanji. Romaji. Romaji. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And finally, over our third line in orange is the English translation of the word. The example above teaches us that the Japanese word for hi means yes in English. Awesome. Next, I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. This word sounds like hi or hi. However, remember how I sounds like e? The word hi is actually pronounced hai e. But since Japanese is a language spoken at a rapid pace, the syllables tend to merge. A general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that the sounds of syllables do not change, regardless of what the syllable they follow or precede. We all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways, and may not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese, every syllable has a specific pronunciation and is the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions, but nothing to be concerned about at this stage. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation of hi again? Hi. Hi. It's very easy. Let's look at our second word. Ie. This is ie, which means no. It's an interesting word because it's made up of only vowels. Alright. I should have written that down. I mean, we already know what hi, what hi is, but this one is different. I've never... Why did I say hi is yes, right? I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. So we have e. Which means no. When dealing with repeated vowels such as ee, you will draw out the length of the sound. It's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. So instead of saying ee, -e -e, you just say ee. 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 So that would be our. <clears throat> Watashi means I. It's used when referring to yourself. It's not a substitute for the letter I. Watashi. You'll use watashi often in conversation when talking about yourself as a formal and polite word. Wata watashi, meaning I or me. There are other more casual words used to refer to yourself in Japanese, but they are safe for chatting with your friends and family. Would you like to listen to the, the pronunciation again? Watashi. Sounds a little bit more robotic the way that it says it. I. <clears throat> Word number four is Anata, which means you, or for the person you are talking to. You can use this word in conversation when talking about your conversation partner. However, it can be considered rude to use it in the wrong context. Most of the time, you refer to people by their name, even when directly talking to them. It sounds like it sounds weird in English, but it's normal in Japanese. So instead of saying you, you say, you say the person's name. Yeah, let's hear that again. Anata. 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 I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You keep writing these down. Word number five. The rest of the words in this lesson are for objects used when studying. Look around now. Hopefully you have most of these things handy. Maybe. 
Ah, pen. Yes, pen. <laughs> Stra straightforward. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's <laughs> well, pen. <laughs> All right. It's pretty straightforward. It's been borrowed from English. Okay. When you write words borrowed from other languages in Japanese, you wouldn't normally use hiragana. Instead, you use a set of characters called katakana, katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. Oh, okay. So, like, if you're, so like, let's say you, let's say you're seeing or you're watching, like, a show in Japanese subtitles, and it comes up as, as the word it would be. So with pen, they wouldn't write out the word pen in 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 Japanese. They'd write it in English. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. So that that's considered katakana. Katakana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <clears throat> so katakana is for like English words or not Japanese words that they don't have a word for, but everybody knows what it is because it's. That so pen they don't have a word for pen in Japanese but oh they probably do anyway it's borrowed since this is software about learning hiragana we will write borrowed words like pen in hiragana and romanji would you like to listen to the pronunciation again yeah, word number six oh dear pencil I don't have a pencil on me but in pizza. Inpitsu. It's a bit of a mouthful, so listen to the pronunciation a few times and practice saying it slowly. Inpitsu. Inpitsu. Then we have pen. Then we have... Inpitsu. <clears throat> we'll choose pencil. Inpitsu. 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 You kind of you kind of hear the pencil in in it. Skui. Word number seven. Skui. Is that what it said? Skui. 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 Right. Skui. Because it's e, not e. Skui. <clears throat> Skui. Keep doing that. Skui, which is his desk, right there. <clears throat> Skui. Skui. Word number eight is isu. Isu. Isu, which is chair. Isu. Pretty straightforward, some of these. Isu. Isu. Let's get that one right there. <clears throat> Alright. We're number nine. Hon. Which is book. Hon. Hon. Again, pretty straightforward. Noto. Noto. Noto Noto. Noto is notebook. Noto. Noto. Pretty straightforward, again. And that's the end of the first vocabulary lesson. <clears throat> you now know 10 Japanese words that are going to be very useful. Well done. Move on to the next Hiragana lesson. Before we do, would you like to save your progress? Yes. All right, lesson three. And we will go through this lesson and that's where we will end it for now. <sighs> Lots of learning. Lots of learning. I'm pretty sure high was yes.
time to learn our third set of Hidegana characters. There are five new characters to learn in this lesson. <clears throat> All right. What did it say was the essays? The S, S words. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Nice, we, we know one word. We know one word already, sushi. <laughs> we already know one word. <laughs> sushi. First new character. Sa. Sa. This is Sa. It kind of looks like... It almost looks like eh, or no, it almost looks like oh, but without the, without the little curve on it. Eh, no, it looks like something else. Key. It almost looks like key. I'm just gonna say it looks kind of like oh. Anyway, let's watch that again. <clears throat> Remember, we always curve it. Practice writing the character now. Some tips. Tilt the horizontal line properly. Like. Key. Okay, I was right. Like key, the number of strokes varies depending on the font. Use the form in the animation as best practice. So the animation. We're going to draw these based off of the animation. You go over. Go down. And under. So. Over. Watch that again. Over, down, and under. And what this one was? Sa? Sa. Yep, sa. I'm right as you want. Yep. <clears throat> so let's. Like, Keep doing this so that way we can see it best. Turn it over. go through the animations about three times each time all right the next character which is she pretty that's pretty that is really straightforward <clears throat> she. this is she yeah the curved L one more time Like a J, I should say backwards J. One stroke, the vertical line is straight, but make it make sure you curve it correctly at the bottom. Okay, so it's not. You just gotta make sure it is. Cheat. Cheat. Right. Now we probably don't need to look at this again, but... <clears throat> Alright. Next one is Su... Oh! Number 9 with a T on top. Number 9's hoisting up a cross, that's what it is. Constant vowel, but a vowel makes it a single vowel, even though it's su. Yeah, I thought so. So it'd be this. Which is su.
pressure's right and two the tail at the bottom curves slightly after the loop so yeah make sure you're giving it a slight curve we'll do that <clears throat> Almost looks like a G. Yeah, that's what it is. G. Looks like a nine there, but the way I've got it, it looks like a G. Do it one more time. Curve it over. Loop. Good to go. Alright, next one. <laughs> Set. Vertical line on the right has a slight tail formed when your pen lifts. It's supposed to look like a fancy looking H. And this one, se. Straightforward. And last one. So. So. Oh, you want he thought you yeah, have the other one look like a fancy Z. This this one's a really fancy Z. <laughs> so probably gonna be one stroke and yeah it is. There it is. Oh it looks like a crazy looking four. That's what it looks like. Like a ZC or a crazy looking four. Curve the last part properly. Animation again. I'm gonna make I said I only do these a couple of times, but this one was a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I think I, I think we got we got that one. Oh no, you know what that looks like? If for you music people out there, you know what a rest looks like? It looks like a it looks like a rest. Yeah, let me. Let me pull up what a rest looks like for those of you who don't who aren't into music. A quarter rest, that's what it's called. It looks like a quarter rest. See? It looks like this. It, lo it looks like a quarter rest for all you music all you music people out there. Alright. <clears throat> That's really funny. It kinda does. I guess it does kinda. Alright. <sighs> um See it one more time. 
Maybe I'm curving it up in words too much. Let me see that again. I mean, no matter how I look at it, it just looks like a rest mark. I don't know. Yeah, no matter how I look at it, it looks like a rest mark. Alright. Continue the lesson. That's it. That's all the SHs. Not SHs. This was supposed to be C. C. These five characters were all quite commonly used, so be sure to memorize them. Before we continue, would you like to save your progress so far? Yes, we would. And we'll save it to this one. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some common Japanese word written entirely in hiragana. Okay, well, I guess we'll we'll do this one. Sound them out using knowledge you have so far. Say the words out loud, and you'll probably get the meaning right away. Here's our first Japanese word. Oh, is this sushi? Is this sushi? This is probably sushi. It's sushi. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Sushi. Sushi. <laughs> sushi. Yeah, sushi. Oh my. Character we haven't learned yet. I'm going to say it's that fancy looking H. This one right here. You can see my mouse for some reason. I don't know why, but you can see my mouse. I'm pretty sure it's this one because we have these three. So let's let's see. This is se. Don't know what that one is. That one is also se. And then this one. What vowel was this one? E. Se something se e. The second one here, yeah. Oh, that's the N. Sen. Senne? Senne? Senai? Is that what it is? I'm gonna write that one down. I'm gonna write that down, though. If, if they tell us to, I'm gonna write it down. So this fancy looking H is an N. Now that you know that, you can work out what the word is, so it's gotta be... Oh, it's sensei! Oh... I forgot, it's supposed to be... Yeah, that's sensei. Oh, that's cool. I was thinking about it, I was like, it almost looks like sensei, but I can't find the... Yeah, that was my fault for forgetting the... S. Sensei. It's common to use in karate when addressing your karate master. All right, another tough one. There's one character we haven't learned yet. It's the crazy number five. We've been learning it. It's the second one here. The word five for ra. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this. Ra. So let's see, that one, that one's Kara, Kara, Karaki, Karakike, right? Yeah, Karakike, Ki, Kike. Karaoke? Karaoke. It's an O? 
Yes, it is an O. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> karaoke, karaoke. 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 We say karaoke. Karaoke. Do you know that the word karaoke originated from Japanese? Well, I mean, it's not that hard to understand. That's all for Japanese words this lesson. Once we've learned some more hiragana, we'll learn some new words. Awesome. Awesome. So we already know what sushi is. That was the first thing I saw. I was like, ah, oh, here we go. Sushi. So, yeah, I'm gonna... Once we've learned some more hiragana, we'll learn some new words. All right. So what was it? We had sushi, senpai, not senpai, sensei. Sushi, sensei, and karaoke. Those are the three words we learned. So we have... Sushi, and then we had Sensei. Sushi. Sensei. And... Alright. <clears throat> Sushi, Sensei, and Karaoke. You remember our friend, the Takutin? Yeah, the Takutin! <laughs> oh boy, here we go. We're gonna learn some more words. Let me guess, we're gonna be turning our uh, S words into something else? Good news, we can use the Takutin on our newly learned S series. Yay! <laughs> Sa. Sa. To Z. Awesome. Go through five new characters and show you what to become when you add the Dakutin. Awesome. Split our S page down the middle. Yeah. This is Za. Alright. Straightforward. We go over. And our right, the Dakutin. This is Za. Zot. Nope. Yep, practice writing Zot in your notebooks. Yep, we already know. We just gotta look over at Sa, add the Dakutin. Just probably write that down, what that is, if I haven't already. I thought I did. Yeah, write down Dakutin. Yeah. 
Ah, this is an exception. So this is G. So Genji. <laughs> Genji. Genji. Yes, we can make, we can make Genji. <laughs> we can we can write Genji. <laughs> we can write on Genji's name. <laughs> All right. Is that which is G? I remember that. Write write she as normal and then add your Dakutin. Position shown the image above. Pronounce it again. Nope, it's pretty straightforward. All right. Oh, we're gonna write Genji. Yay! <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. So we have to do ge, which is this. Mm, which we learned. Mm, we learned mm, when we learned sen uh, sensei. Which is the crazy H. And then. See that very well, probably not. Genji! <laughs> Genji! <laughs> it's backwards for you, but yeah. <laughs> we wrote Genji's name! Alright, now we have Zu. So just like Su, like that. Curl it around, and add this. And now you got Zu. That one really weird. Those are pretty straightforward. We don't really need to listen to them. As long as we know the vowels, it's pretty straightforward. Z. Z. So we got this, 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 got that, and this. Z. I mean, Zen. Zenyata. <clears throat> Always remember to write those Dakutin marks. I should really get another camera to focus on what I'm writing down here. That way it's not just me looking down at my notebook. Alright, so that's Z. Nope. Alright, next one is Zo, which is the last one. So we just gotta make the crazy quarter rest. Got this, which is Zo. Go here, here, over. And under here, here, over, and under. Yeah, add your cutins. Pretty straightforward. No. No. All right. So this is our S. This is our Z. <clears throat> All right. So far, we have learned 20, 20 words. 20 words, letters. We've learned a lot. We've learned a lot. So we have our vowels and stuff associated with them. So our vowels are right here. Everything's backwards for you, right? No, no, it's not backwards for you. Okay, oh, there go some cards that I had from a long time ago. <clears throat> All right, so you know, we have our, our vowels right up through here. And then over here, you know, we have our, our, our K, our Kaz, and our Gaz. 
Ka ga. And then over here, we've learned our. It's backwards for me. It's not this. We have our. Uh, our uh, what is it called? Kenji. Ke Kanji. The English alphabet way of of writing Japanese. And that's what we have right here. And then over here, you know, we have our saws, our zaz, with the exception of G. And then over here, we learned three words. Sushi, we already know that. Sensei, and karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke, karaoke. <clears throat> and then we also learned two consonants. So we learned N and Ra, Ra. So N and Ra. We learned a lot. We learned a lot today. What did we learn? Ten. We learned ten words. We learned one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. We got learned the ten words. We learned um, ten vowel with consonant words. And then we learned uh, two new two new other other words so we did pretty good we did really good yeah all right so that's gonna sum it up for this one. Oh right the quizzes all right <clears throat> i was about to put my notebook away got really confident there don't want to get too overconfident though all right let me guess you're gonna quiz this now you know it oh man chin up leon we need to revise what we've learned. Yeah, we need to revise what we learned or we'll get our butts kicked out next time we go to battle against the Hirigana Warriors. Eric's right. Frankly, I want to learn as much as I can as soon as possible so I can give Nobro a piece of my mind. All in due time. Let's focus on our quiz. Question one, what is this layer? Well, we already know that this is the letter she. From your notes, you can already look, it's she. Question two, what is this character? Ah, the crazy one, which is So, right? Yeah. We got So. Is that one? Ah, now we're going back in time, right? Or is it? Yep, we're going back in time. So we're at O. This one's O, it's a vowel. There's a four as a character for the English sound Zoo. Zoo. This one. Remember, the Dakutans have the Z's, or the Z's have Dakutans on them. Dakutan, Dakutan, Dakutan. For the word Sa, this does not have a Dakutan on it. So Sa is going to be this one. Alright, that's it. Take a break from our study now, had time to relax, and you just talk on my equipment, be sure to do so. And that is where we're going to end our ooh, side quests are optional tasks you can complete for rewards. And each side quest will teach you more Japanese. Sorry for that, I'm moving my mic out of my face. Try talking to people in town with exclamation icons above their heads. Make sure you check the inn and the tavern too. When you finish exploring the town, come and find me and we'll continue our study. Alright. Well, that is where... That is where we are going to end today's session. I don't know why I'm putting my pen there. That's where we're ending today's session. Uh, I want to try and do this as a weekly thing. That way we can be a little consistent about it. So, yeah, I think Sunday night would be a good, a good time to do it. If it changes, you know, just follow me on Twitter. I'll be able to tell you guys if I change anything. Let's do it about the same time next week. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, 7 o'clock. So let's do 7 o'clock next week, and all will be good. Got a lot of notifications here for whatever reason, but... Yeah, it's alright. Alright! Thank you for learning Japanese with me, for sticking around. Uh, make sure you keep your notebooks nearby for next week. We'll be here again next week at 7. 7 o'clock central time. Make sure it's at central time. 
I know I said I was going to do another Destiny thing, but I think we're going to take a break from Destiny for a little bit. So I'm going to pop over to Minecraft. You want to watch, watch us kind of relax a little bit in Minecraft. Uh, yesterday over on uh, Penguin and Destiny's channels, I th think they live streamed them. Yeah, that they recorded it. Yesterday we went and uh, fought off the end, the end dragon. Um, today we're just going to be doing a little bit of relax, relaxing building. Um, I'm going to go and do a lot of other things. So just stick around. We'll be playing Minecraft here in a bit, in about yeah, we'll say about ten minutes or so. If anything changes, obviously we will let you know. Class dismissed.